Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make these adorable DIY Hershey's Kisses. This is loaded up with fun surprises for Valentine's Day. If you are ready, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. And if you're new to our channel, hit the red button to subscribe and don't forget that bell. That way you'll get alerts when new videos like this one are out. This would be such a perfect gift for teachers. You could give this to your kids, a Valentine's party or a classroom exchange. Let me know in the comments down below who you would make one of these for. The first thing you're gonna do for this project is head over to your printer. You're gonna type out whatever you want your little tag to say. I just went with traditional kisses, but you could do XOXO, happy V-Day, whatever you want. Cut all the way to the edge because you're gonna want that room here for your tag to be longer. We're gonna start off with a kitchen funnel. You're gonna find if you're shopping in store, a lot of them have like a little lip on the edge. I found these and I think they're great because it's just smooth all the way around. I'm gonna link to these for you guys. You can easily find them. We're gonna take our tag and we're gonna position it right at the top of our funnel here. We're gonna tape it right here like this so it sticks out the top. There we go gonna kind of bend this slightly. Now it's time to load this up with whatever you want. So first I got some of this paper shred. We're gonna use that as a filler. This is probably good. Now I'm gonna put a gift card in here and then add some candy too. Of course we've got to go with Hershey Kisses. <laughs> Stick with the theme. There are so many fun options though to put in here. You could have a small toy, you could have some makeup. That'd be fun for a tween or a teen or an adult, of course. I'm just making sure all that filler's contained in here. We're just gonna wanna pull it nice and tight to get a good seal. That way everything will stay contained. Now I used a lot, so I'm just gonna cut off the excess up here is looking good. All right, it's time to wrap this up in our tin foil. I like the side that's less shiny to face out. When you get to the bottom, you're just gonna push the foil in. Now, if you want, you can even stick a piece of tin foil in that top hole just to kind of complete it. I cannot believe how cute this turned out. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you're gonna try it and who you're gonna give this to. Now, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget, hit that thumbs up button and I will see you guys next time. Bye.